The weather is so beautiful today, isn't it? Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay. Well, where are we gonna go? Are we gonna go to Target? Target? What you got in that cup? What's in there? Uh-oh. It is an absolutely gorgeous day outside and Cooper and I are gonna head over to Target and I'm looking for um, the Christmas dollar spot stuff. And um, I haven't seen it out yet. I've been stalking, so I'm gonna go to my closest Target. They're always kind of late on getting their stuff out. They have like a really good selection when they do put it out, but it's always like really late. So after, I think I might run to Goodwill because I saw some maternity pants there the other day from H&M and I didn't have time to try them on. And granted, they're probably like, I don't know, four or five dollars, uh, but they look like brand new and I should have just got them anyways, but chances are they don't have them anymore, but we might go by there and check. But Cooper had a really good nap this morning and he's in a good mood. So <laughs> we are gonna just head out on this beautiful, beautiful afternoon here in Texas. It's like 60s-ish. So I just have on this, um, um, it's a Liz Lang maternity dress and I actually picked it up at like a um, kids consignment store where they have like baby stuff and they also have maternity clothes and I love Liz Lang maternity and I'm kind of sad that they did away with it at Target. But anyways, it's a really, really cute dress. I got it for like $10. And then I got this little jacket at TJ Maxx, I think either last year or the year before. I don't know. Um, and then I just have on my boots from Target, my boot sneakers that were in my fall haul video. And I actually got some new mascara that I am so obsessed with, guys. It's the Tardis Lash Paint. It is it's so amazing, seriously. It's worth every bit of $23. Well, here's a few things. They're starting to get it out. Yeah. What do you see? Those shiny stars? This cardigan with the bell sleeves is adorable. How cute is that? But they do not have my size. How much is this? It's $29.99. But all they have is large, extra large, and extra extra large. Who is that, baby? How cute is that? I'm sorry, guys. This thing is going to be leaving our cart in just a minute. It's so annoying. Get rolling. Oh my. These Mickey PJs are so cute. Look at these Mickey PJs. I think those are like unisex. We are done. Huh? We got some things we need and some things that we don't need. All right, finally on our way out. <laughs> that was the longest checkout ever. We are done at Target and I swear to you, I was either being pranked or we were in the movie Zootopia. You know that scene where the sloth at the bank, there's the sloths at the bank and they're like moving so slow and like, <laughs> It's hilarious. It's like the best scene in the movie. Uh, but I swear to you, our cashier at Target was like the sloth. I've never seen somebody move slower. And I felt like I was in the movie Zootopia or, or I was being pranked. It seriously took forever. The people behind me were like going to other checkout lanes because it was taking so long. I am like, and as I'm standing there, I'm thinking of the movie Zootopia where the sloths are like taking forever. And then like you say one thing and it takes them forever to answer. And I'm not like making fun of this person at all. I'm sure that she's like a really nice lady or something. She might be new, I don't know. I think she was new, but she was by herself, but it just seemed like 
I swear it, it was it was hilarious. It was hilarious. So if you haven't seen this the sloth scene from Zootopia, you're totally missing out. That is it's hilarious. Cooper and I are in the Starbucks drive-thru and I just left Goodwill. We have a really, really big, nice Goodwill by our house, and I really like to go there because a lot of times you can find some really nice stuff. Um, like I'm talking brand new clothes, really nice furniture. I love to find my furniture from there and like repaint it. Hold on, I'm about to order. Can I get a tall pumpkin spice latte with no whipped cream? A tall pumpkin spice latte with no whipped cream? Yes. What else can I get for you? And a cheese danish. One cheese danish warmed up today? Yes, please. Yeah, I can throw that in the oven for you. And I think that's it. Alright. Okay, thank you. Anyways, I didn't find the maternity pants that I was talking about that I really wanted. Um, somebody must have bought them. I figured there's not that many maternity, like, you know, there's not that many pregnant girls, and it was only like a week ago. But they were really nice, like green, like olive moto jeggings, and they were from HM and they were pretty new because I went to H&M yesterday and they had them there still, but they didn't have my size. So I was like, why didn't I just buy the ones at Goodwill? I don't know, they looked like brand new. So they were gone, or at least I couldn't find them. It's possible that they were in the store, I just couldn't find them because it's a huge store and I don't have time with Cooper trying to jump out of the basket to look through every single like rack of clothing, so. I did find one little baby thing and then I got Sydney some stuff and it's so hard to look for the kids and the girl stuff. Um, they don't have like a whole lot of it and usually there's like nothing good but somebody must have, I swear the stuff all came from the same person because it's like Sydney's size and I got her some really nice pajamas from the children's place. They, the pants look like they've never been washed. Maybe the shirt too, like brand new. Um, like a little cardigan, a pink cardigan from Target. A long sleeve, really cute shirt from J. Crew, like Crew Cuts, the kids brand, and some children's place um, jeggings, like jeans. They're so cute, and I'll have to show you guys all of it. I don't buy like all of Sydney's clothes at Goodwill. I I can shop for my kids anywhere. Um, I look for the boys too as well, but. It always seems like the older boys stuff, especially like Carter's age, even Cooper's age, the stuff is like so picked over um, and like hard to come by because boys are so hard on their clothes and they just, they always look like really ratty. So most of the time I stick to the baby stuff and then Sydney stuff, it's really just easy to find. Um, and cause baby stuff is so, you know, they don't wear it for very long. I think the little thing I got is like zero to three months maybe. It looks brand new. And then Sydney stuff, you know, girls are a little bit like less hard. Sydney's still pretty hard on her clothes, but for the most part, girls are less hard on their clothes. So I'll show you what I got, but I don't want you guys to think, oh, I only buy Sydney's clothes at Goodwill or something. That's not true. I buy her clothes everywhere all the time. Like everything I bought is pink because it's so much fun to shop for girls. And I don't have time to look for myself. Cooper was literally, he was like not having it. So I, I my camera's gonna fall. I need a mount. I need a car mount. I'm gonna pick up Starbucks. I think we're gonna go home because I have milk in, um, I need to get my wallet out. I've got milk in here and I need to get it home. My husband is still at a baseball game, baseball tournament. Um, his team is winning, so that consumes the weekend, but this is actually his last weekend um, coaching for a little while. Thank goodness. This okay, so I'm gonna do just a little bitty haul of the Goodwill stuff that I got and then the Target stuff that I got. And I'm in the baby's nursery. Um, back here is the wall that the crib will go on, but Cooper is sleeping in the crib still that we're gonna be using, so um, the crib is not up there. So I didn't want you guys to see too much of the room because I will do like a separate tour, but I am in the official nursery. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got at the Target dollar spot first. They didn't have a whole lot to choose from, but I went ahead and grabbed what I liked because I know how fast the stuff goes and then how hard it is to find. So I got some little plates like this and this one has the little bicycle on it. I love the bicycle stuff. 
And then this one is just like a, um, almost like a peppermint stripe on there. So I am going to put these on my um, dining room table with like a whole kind of setup, kind of similar how I did to fall. And then um, did four fall, not did two fall. And then I got these. And this one has a little mistletoe on it. I really like this one. I think it's really simple and pretty. Um, it was either get two of these, this set right here. This has got the little plaid right here. Or get four different, like, you know, different designs. They actually only had these plates and those plates left. Like, that was it. They only had these two sets left. So I grabbed them and I thought it would be really cute for, um, you know, to put it like mismatchy. I kind of like that. So I'm trying to keep my Christmas theme still pretty neutral with pops of green and red. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. But... <laughs> This is this is kind of the theme that I'm going to start with for now. And then these are the placemats. Um, these were three dollars a piece a piece, not peach. Those were three dollars a piece. These were three dollars for a set. So I think that's pretty good. That's like a dollar fifty a plate. Um, but the placemats were um uh, and see they here, I'll take the little tag off. So these were three dollars and this is what they look like. However, if you don't want to use them for a placemat, you can use them for a napkin. Just fold them up, use them as a napkin. You can put this plate on top of it and then put a bigger plate behind it if you want to do that. Or you can use this as a placemat and get separate napkins. Y'all hear that? That's Cooper and his noisy lawnmower. Um, and then I got one other thing. I'm going to have to go stock some different targets because they all like have different things. And mine didn't, just didn't have a whole lot out yet. So I'm sure that they're going to get more. But And then I got this little mug. And this... Come here, Coop. Hi, baby. So I got this mug right here with the mistletoe. And then inside, it's this red and white flecked. I think this was the last mug. Actually, this was the last mug that they had left. So I grabbed this. Please do not knock over the camera. No. No. So that is all the stuff I got. This was $3 as well. These are really cute. I know they have other designs, but this is all they had at my Target, so I snatched it up. You see all Mama's pretty stuff? Please don't break it. Please don't break it. I just bought it. Don't break it. <laughs> are you smiling? Say hi. Your face has chocolate all over it. Okay, well, we had to go out of that room because Cooper was about to destroy everything in sight. So, okay, these are the pajamas that I found at Goodwill. So they are by the children's place and these pants look brand new. Sydney needs pajamas like nobody's business. And when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, those are so cute. And these say star bright on them and Really, Nibbles? And yes, I will wash these, y'all. Do not freak out. Um, I will probably throw these all in the washer so that everything is nice and clean whenever she gets home and she sees them. So these are the pants that I got her. These are also from the children's place. And um, they are size 8. And I forgot to say that um, this top was $1.99. The pants were $1.99. So that's $4 pajamas. Then these were $1.99 as well. So that's two dollar jeans that look brand new like the knees aren't even worn or anything and they're a really nice brand i only buy like really nice brand things i don't usually buy like off brands or anything um this is just a um target little um cardigan it's exhilaration but i thought it was just so cute like look at the little ruffle at the bottom of the cardigan like it ruffles down the sides right here and then it's got the little line like the little ruffle at the bottom so this was really cute she's always cold so the more cardigans we have the better and this was only $1.99 she can wear this with these jeans that goes perfectly grabbed this shirt oh, this is adorable this is by um, crew cuts which is the J crew um, kids line and Look at this, look how nice this is. This is a really nice shirt. This was also $1.99. 
I just, that's so adorable. I would totally wear that if that was my size. Last but not least, I got this little thing for baby boy and it says, love you more on it. I swear this has not even, maybe been washed one time. Um, it's just like in perfect condition. And it's just by the brand Gerber, zero to three months and it was also $1.99. So that is my Goodwill haul. I think that that's some pretty nice kid stuff for $2 a piece. All right, so I'm going to be making homemade lasagna for dinner, and we use ground turkey instead of ground beef in most of our recipes uh, that call for beef. I always use turkey. So, turkey, diced tomatoes, um, I have two cans of each, so two cans of diced tomatoes, two cans of tomato sauce, I have the oven ready lasagna i also have these here as well any of the oven ready lasagna packs will do and this is not for this is spaghetti for another day um and then i've got mozzarella cheese and um cottage cheese in the fridge but i'm gonna go ahead and prepare this it's only four o'clock but i'm gonna prepare all this that way all i have to do is put the lasagna in the oven and then it's ready to go uh, by the time my husband gets home while the meat is over here cooking I'm just gonna take a little bit of um, the cottage cheese and I usually buy the low fat or fat free and I just scoop a little bit out and just kind of like coat the bottom here that way the noodles don't stick to the bottom but you don't have to use Pam or anything um, this works equally just as well I've been doing this for a few years now and it works just fine and this lasagna is such an easy recipe you guys i feel like people think lasagna is so hard to make but it's so easy and this is like a family favorite even cooper loves this so that's enough to just kind of keep the noodles from sticking to the bottom and then i'm going to go ahead and put a layer of noodles at the bottom um now i'm going to use some garlic powder what you want this Just mad because I'm talking. Um, garlic powder, salt, uh, black pepper, basil. Of course, this is you know all this is optional. This is just what I like to put in mine. Um, so basil, and then chili powder. And I will put that all in the meat right now. It's about ready. Um, and then I will add the tomato sauce and the uh, diced tomatoes. Right now I'm pouring in a can of the diced tomatoes and you can always do like one can of diced tomatoes if you want. You don't have to do two. I think I'm probably gonna do one and a half. I don't know, I'll see how it looks when I get the tomato sauce in it. Sorry that y'all can't see my head, that I'm headless, but you're actually bouncing on top of my oven right now. So if you fall down, you're probably gonna fall into the candle that I have lit pour into the lasagna meat sauce. So I am currently un undoing the tomato sauce. Okay, and then I'm just gonna pour the tomato sauce in here. And if you're just making like a really small one, um, you can definitely just use one can of each. Like if it's just you and your husband or something and you don't have kids or visitors or anything. Cooper sees the candle and he wants to blow it out. I put the meat sauce on top of the noodles at the bottom and then I put um, cottage cheese on top of that and then I put another layer of noodles and then I will put more sauce and then I will do uh, cottage cheese and then I will be back. <laughs> that is literally it. Um, I will put it in the oven for 425 degrees for um, about 45 minutes and then once it gets to that mark like I'll keep checking it um, Sometimes it's closer to an hour. It just kind of depends. You just kind of see like how it looks on the top You don't want it to get like too brown or anything just enough to where it's cooked But about 45 minutes to an hour and that is all so Cooper wanted to play with crayons over here And I was trying to show him how to do it and while I was finishing up the lasagna Coop, what'd you do? He colored all over the tile <laughs> What is that? Is that part of a crayon? Well, what did you do here? What did you do right here? Why did you do that, honey? 
I didn't even think about how he might color on the tile. Um, I'm sure I can probably get it up. I don't think we're ready for crayons yet. What do you think? Can you help me pick them up? Help me pick them up? Thank you. I don't think you're quite, I thought because they weren't markers that we wouldn't have a problem and you would just keep it on the book, but who am I kidding, right? Just like your pants say. What do your pants say? Uh-oh. I'm using the Mrs. Myers Mum Cleaner with my microfiber cloth and it seems to be coming up really well. So, I am relieved. All good. Um, I wanted to show y'all something. I saw this idea on Pinterest. He's fine. I saw this idea on Pinterest and then I also saw Tiffany Beeston do it underneath her cabinet. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this finally. Um, so if you guys haven't seen Tiffany's channel, I will leave it in a link below. She is so cute and I just, I love her videos. I love watching her videos. A lot of cleaning and organiza organizational videos and stuff. So anyways, okay, look at this. I feel like this is such a genius idea. So whoever on Pinterest came up with this, awesome. Okay. All right, so this is what I did. I took one of these um, dowel rods and is that what they're called? Just these little spring rod things um, like you would use for a shower curtain. I got it for $6 at Target and I just tightened it and put it up there. It took me all of one minute. And then you take your cleaning products like this and you hang it up there. Is that not genius? So I had to move it down just a little bit. Um, I did have this a little bit higher, but my sink part was hitting it and I couldn't fit them. So that is like the perfect length right there. Is that not genius? Then you have all this room down here for whatever else you want. Hello, like, why did I not think of this before? I can hang all of them up here and have all this room. It's amazing. And yes, I have locks on my cabinets and they need to be wiped off and cleaned but what what this this is life-changing this right here look at all these i have all the method products right here and i've got all of the mrs myers products right here i don't know why i think this is so amazing but i felt so organized right now and awesome and i'm gonna shut the cabinets before cooper sees it hi oh <laughs> don't hit don't hit oh nice nice boy so the lasagna just came out and I would say actually to put it in for like 40 minutes or even like I don't know I think 40 minutes uh, because at 45 minutes mine was ugh. It's not burnt by any means. It just could have, oh baby, are you giving me a kiss? Oh, that's the sweetest thing ever. Tonight is one of the World Series games. We live in Texas, so obviously we are going for the Astros. And it's, I, I really like to watch baseball. Um, I don't like football and I don't like basketball, but I really like baseball. So it's a good thing because I foresee a lot of baseball games in my future with all these boys. So I, I really don't have a choice. So it's a good thing that I like watching it. I went ahead and made a salad. This is just like an Italian salad, like out of the bag. And then if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I've been craving Olive Garden salad since the beginning of my pregnancy, which I have craved with all of my boys. Um, so I don't know if it's a boy thing or just a pregnancy thing, but I have been craving like it has to be the Olive Garden dressing so I just got this at Target um, and it's like I don't know three or four bucks and then I put it in the salad and I also added some pepperoncini pepper yeah I think that's how you say it peppers because that's what they do at Olive Garden I didn't have any tomatoes or anything like that but that's okay I'm trying to I already like with with the lasagna, I already ate a bunch of tomatoes and I don't need heartburn tonight, but this is so good. So salad and lasagna, super easy dinner. There you go. Cooper, what are you doing? That's clean laundry, dude. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo>. Hi. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Are those good? 
Who's home? Is Daddy home? Oh. Finally? I know, long day. <laughs> How's my lasagna? Did you taste it yet? Mm-hmm. Good? Real good. Good. And the Olive Garden salad? Huh? Are you just eating croutons? Well, it's good to know you like something. Huh? Honey, you look like a you look like a T Rex when you're running. Can you put your arms up a little bit more? Like <laughs> a T Rex is coming. <laughs> okay, guys. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm about to put Cooper to sleep and Carter will be here in just a little bit and I'm gonna spend some time with him before he goes to sleep. And we're just gonna hang out and watch the World Series game. So thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did and to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.